I go on Twitter, or as X as they like to call it, every day, you know, I go on there to check off stuff, and I pretty much go in there to check the playlist. And to my amazement, to my amazement, you know, a staple of Call of Duty is Warzone now, unfortunately. I mean, it's fortunate, but unfortunate, because, you know, I still was a fan of 6v6 until SBMM, EOMM took over. But check this out. They put a statement out that says, while we draw closer to Black Ops 6 and make preparations for the future of Warzone, we will be consolidating the current playlist section starting today into the following. Battle Royale solos and quads, resurgence duos and quads. It, it, what? Bro, like, dude, you guys do understand they did the same thing in Warzone 1. Is it because they may possibly take Warzone away? It makes you think like Call of Duty conspiracy theories, and I have many, many of them. Are they actually going to try to go in reverse with Warzone? Nah, nah, oh, man, no way. It is their bread and butter of this. But to sit there and take solos and resurgence away and only leave duos and quads? No, I haven't really been playing Warzone in some time now. I just don't like SBMM and EOMM. As anybody that's been to my streams, it's like my number one target conversation of hate. I don't intentionally want to hate. I just dislike EOMM slash SBMM. And as time goes on, it's more of EOMM that kind of directs everything and how it goes together. Lately, I have been getting back into big map battle royale, but unfortunately, it's the only way I play it is in plunder or boot camp. The limited time game modes really don't show no interest unless it's the actual recent one that they added for, what is it, uh, Resurgence, which is the little Halloween event. That one doesn't seem so bad because you can mindlessly go on there for about two hours, which, holy crap, two hours just to sit there and complete one little thing with a nuke end and it just kind of doesn't really have no rhyme or reason but if you want to go in there and play like plunder style aka team deathmatch resurgence style is what i like to call it yeah you can go in there and do that but to sit there and take away solos and many people know that i i am a solo player which again i haven't played in a while but i'm coming back well at least i thought i was but i did sit there and state yesterday that i was going to come back and play duos i had no idea that this was going to be a thing and it kind of sucks you see solos me, it's in SBMM it's if you use methods of going backwards should I say FBI, solos up. seems to have more of a lighter SBMM slash EOMM kind of thing weirdly enough I know most people don't understand it but I've been testing out things with SBMM slash EOMM for the past since 2020 and come to my acknowledgement with battle royale solos it is the primary suspect for the best lobbies. A lot of these YouTubers tend to go into quads and two box and do whatever method that they do, but the staple for everything is solos. Solos has the better of the SBMM slash EOMM where you could more evade it in the, such a positive way. So now that they took the, all this away, it kind of sucks, especially since I've been actually doing things to test out more things, should I say and get back to solos. Again, what turns me off is EOMM slash SBMM. And to sit there and take this away, man, is just a slap in the face to everybody. If you go through the comments, there is everybody and their mama, including J-God, Modern Warzone. I mean, everybody possible, including Wesley, who, mind you, he's always used to be a Battlefield player. Now he came over to Call of Duty because Battlefield, well, you already know the story over there. But he, he, everybody's saying something about this. Because, come on, man. You take something good away, and then just to promote, again, what I believe is more multiplayer to make things a little less interesting and to promote multiplayer to get us to go into Black Ops 6. Because, as you know, sales really don't look so good. And by this time, I usually have the game pre-ordered. But as everybody knows that's been in my streams, I haven't. I keep on going back and forth debating whether I should get Black Ops 6. But understand that if Solos is, you know, somewhat gone until Black Ops 6 comes out, you guys got to understand that it only leads one to believe that 
it's all because of Black Ops 6. It says right here, while we draw closer to Black Ops 6 and make preparations for the future of Warzone, we will be consolidating the current playlist section. See, in those words right there, either they're promoting Black Ops 6 more, or maybe Warzone is dying. Who knows? Call of Duty isn't doing so well. Streamers that stream Call of Duty, including myself, don't do so well. The views have not been very great. And, well, unless you got things going on, but they all haven't been so great. In general, you could see across the board, just by doing a little Google search, Call of Duty in general has not been doing all that great. So it leads one to believe that maybe, just maybe, they're doing this because, well, they got to. In order to promote one game, you take stuff away, make things less interesting, and it makes other things more appealing. In other words, 6v6, aka Black Ops 6 multiplayer. You what? With that being said, I don't know, but these are just my speculations, or what I like to call Call of Duty conspiracy theories, but you tell me, what do you think's going on? Because again, remember, Warzone 1 went through the exact, exact same thing near its end. So I don't know. But to me, it sounds like a little bit of everything. Don't forget to hit that like and that sub, and I do appreciate it. Come back for more, man. Kaboom.